I'm Daniel Fisher, Director of Product Optimization here at Sweetwater Sound. Today we're going to talk more about the Korg Prolog Polyphonic Analog Synthesizer, and specifically today we're going to talk about the multi-engine. There are two fully analog oscillators, VCO1 and VCO2, but the third oscillator is actually a digital multi-engine. It can be three different types of oscillators. Uh, it can be a noise oscillator, it can be a VPM or variable phase modulation oscillator, or it can be a user oscillator. More about that is in the future uh, where there will be the ability to create new user waves uh, using a kit. So the first multi-engine type is noise, and I'm going to set it to high, which means that when I move the shape knob, I'm basically moving a high-pass filter, independent of the regular filter. Good if I want to do hi-hats or just add a little bit of noise way at the top of a sound. Um, I can also do low. Now it's a low-pass filter, so I can determine how much highs get through. Very pretty. And then a peak filter, which is basically running a, a, a filter with a peak in the middle, and I'm running that peak through the whole frequency range. And the last one is a decimator, basically a, a device that starves the bits out of something and so you get a lot of quantization error. Uh, it sounds like uh, 1980s video games every time you go to a new level like this. Those of you who like Tempest would know what I'm talking about. Um, and all four of those, the shape can be modulated by the mod wheel or uh, the expression pedal or various different things. Um, and it's very interesting in that there is a mode when you go into edit mode that I can actually change the routing. So here, um, I'm routing post VCFs, which means that the filter, the main filter on this does not affect this. That means that I can do filter tricks like this, independent of filter tricks that I'm doing with the main filter on the other two oscillators. So I can have some very complex sounds going on. The second multi-engine oscillator type is VPM, or variable phase modulation. Uh, it's very much like FM. In fact, I have some FM type controls over on, on this button over here. Uh, another thing that it does is just give you some wave shapes that are not available uh, from the two VCOs. So one that's really nice to have is sine wave. Nice pure sine wave. Um, here's a variation. And another variation. And a fourth one. And all of those can have their shape changed. And those of you who've played with FM know that that's very FM sounding. Uh, we have some features over here like feedback. So if I turn feedback up, it becomes much more dramatic as I change the shape. Now, if I want to move that shape of the sine wave without my actually moving the shape knob, um, there is an attack decay envelope built into the multi-engine, and I have full control over the attack time, decay time, and the intensity of the sweep. So I can just set it up here. I'll make the uh, intensity be full 100%, and I'll give myself a nice slow attack time and a nice, a little bit faster decay time. Now as I press the key, you'll hear it go through a slow attack and then a faster decay. And each of the different sine waves will behave differently when you modulate the shape. Here's another one. And 
here, sine three. And sine four. So lots of delicious complexity there. And then I can go to a sawtooth wave and I'm going to turn off some of this um, modulation intensity. I'll bring it back to zero. And I'll just work it by hand here. Again, just wave shapes that are very difficult to get from the analog oscillator. Here's oscillator two. This is decay one. Decay two. And creep. And then finally, the user area, which currently doesn't have anything. Um, there's just one sound in it. But at some point, uh, people will be able to develop their own waves using this kit. Um, you have to know how to program, but other people can do it as well. So this is what I have there now. Uh, this is already there. Again, it's very important that I can do all of this timbral shifting because I can bypass the main filter, which means I can have my regular oscillators getting brighter and darker, trading places with the digital oscillator for brightness, or just have two entirely different behaviors of brightness over time. And uh, that makes for a really complex patch. Anyway, uh, that is the multi-engine on the Korg Prolog Polyphonic Analog Synthesizer. My name is Daniel Fisher. If you have any further questions, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thank you for watching.